So, Birkin hair. Um, if you're from Scotland, you would hear a song or a kind of tune called that goes like Birkin hair, what a terrible pair. I don't know how it, I, I know the tune, but I don't know the other words. But um, yeah, I, I kind of like that catchiness tune to it, you know, it's kind of like. I went to, um, it's based in Edinburgh. So Edinburgh, first of all, is was the um, centre of um, of modern medicine medicine um, because that's where all these surgeons like all the doctors and surgeons um, students were doing their um, were doing their education to be a surgeon or a doctor at that point there was you know no um, I believe no no uh, women were allowed to have an education there no so yeah boys um, and um, so at round about that time as well um, you know the, there was body snatchers um, there was so the the um the uh the you know lectures of these uh colleges and universities needed of 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 medicine they needed bodies to kind of do their teaching you know for the stu for the students and they needed to they needed bodies that were fresh you know, like, like they just, uh, like they, that, that, like they just, uh, kind of, you know, uh, that they just passed, you know, or just been hanged, for example. Um, and the only way that could be possible is if the tutors, uh, lecturers, um, bought bodies that the people that were hanged just been hung that day or if um or if he just died then and then or if they um were just buried um in the graves like a few days so because if if like it so basically it depends on the condition of the body um that's you know and you know if you're a grave digger or whatever um you you can get a, a a real good price for for good conditioned dead bodies you know and yeah that that that's where these two come in um i was saying too it was just broken hair um so William so it's William Burke and William Hare. Um so so Simon Pegg is William Oh, hold on. <laughs> William Burke is Simon Pegg, so he's so this is Simon Pegg. Um, and that's Andy Serkis. Um, so, Ber William Burke and William Hare. So, um, they're in uh, 1828 Edinburgh. Um, and they're body snatchers. <laughs> um, well, they... Okay, so so first they, you know, be, because you know at that time there was not much jobs going about. Um, and if you are unemployed, you you know, um, some of them kind of did like kind of fake remedies and 
you know, all of that. So they did that for a while and then it's like, nah, this is not working. Um, you know, and obviously that meant that some people were screwed over by their claims and all of that. So they thought, ah, oh, this is not working. This is not good. This is not good for like, you know, getting money in. And of course, um, William's um, wife um, said, oh, William, we, we need, we need to get some income coming in. Um, no one's staying the night at our, at our place, which it was like a kind of lodge kind of, um, no hotel. Well, I would say hotel, but it's just like a few rooms, um, spare. Um, so we need more, we need more income. <laughs> um, and, and so they're thinking, okay, what can, Birkenhead are thinking, okay, what can we do? Because, you know, we need some sort of, so, so, some sort of income, you know, to come in. Um, so, and then they, they kind of looked at other, um, different things. And they said, how much does like bodies cost? They said, oh, well, all the bodies are going to, to, uh, all the bodies that we're getting, uh, go to, um, the, uh, uh, Edinburgh's, um, medical, um, lecturers, um, Edinburgh's, um, uh, universities and colleges, you know, of medicine or so something that title I'm about, um, hello. Hope you in, are enjoying your day or morning or evening, <laughs> whatever time zones you're in. Um, so yeah, the, so it, Edward was well known in those days of being, having medical, um, you know, bits to the university and colleges. Um, so they're thinking, mm, this sounds interesting. Maybe we can, maybe if we get bodies, we can sell these bodies to the medical lecturers. So, so first off, they, they get like, I don't know, I, I haven't watched it for a while. They, they, they get these bodies, I'm guessing from a not, not good conditioned uh, dead bodies. So once they get, they, once they got one of them, they went to uh, one of the uh, lectures and um, they said, oh, um, we're saying uh, this dead body. Um, so they, oh, um, it's not really good condition. I was like, oh, well, how, 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 how much are you willing to pay? Um, no. <laughs> No, I don't have any dead bodies here. Um, I'm talking about this. Uh, Birkin hair. Um, it's based, it's, it's set in Edinburgh in 1828. So they're body snatchers. That's why I'm talking about dead bodies. Um, so, um, yeah, so they, they go to this, uh, lecture and, um, one of many favorite movies, I reassure you. Um, and lecturers like thinking, oh, well, this is not good conditioned, uh, this is not a good conditioned body for me to have, you know, at my lectures. I need like fresh uh, dead bodies, you know. Um, so obviously they go about it and um, they get a somewhat, uh, they get a, they try their hardest to, you know, so to get a fresh dead body, um, and of course they do in some regard. Um, they have their ways, and and they sell this dead body to uh, one of the lecturers, and they get um, a good amount of money, um, and. They and the director say, "Oh, if you keep this up, um, you'll get more of 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 
you get more of my money. Um, this is exactly what I need for my lectures in medicine. Uh, and of course, um, once word gets out that, you know, this lecture is getting lots of fresh dead bodies um, for his lectures, um, other people from Edinburgh um, kind of come around and then they talk to um, Birkenhair and they um, they bump into this uh, they run run up into this this other dude um, saying oh um, if if you are getting you know if it's from my set of land um, I need to you know I should get half of the money that you're getting because it's from my, from my land and and uh, you shouldn't be treading on my land unless I get half of what you're getting um, and and it's like well you know that's less of what we're getting just now um, you know um, and you know my missus is um, wanting me to um, still she's still running this hotel and uh, and then William William has just met her you know and and William is actually um, William is in love with her or start to get be in love with her and she, and she wants her own kind of you know show you know she wants a show her own show to be set up but that costs money and um she, he he provides her of, of enough money to set up her own show business um you know but she doesn't know what what he's doing uh, that he's getting all this money for, for you know and um and other lecturers from different colleges and all that start to hear about this certain lecture getting lots of new bodies and they're kind of like, why has he got so many fresh bodies, you know? And then obviously, um, one thing leads to another. And, and now it's actually, um, you know, there are some people who are actually, they're treading over the whole, you know, part of the job. And actually now it's become a, a murder inquiry because you know, that they're killing citizens instead of waiting until they're dead or, you know, that they're like, you know, yeah, well, body snatchers are basically, you're getting the bodies from the graves, um, you know, but so those bodies, you know, I don't, I, yeah, it's kind of complicated um but if someone is alive before you um and give it to the lecturer then that's murder and and actually you know that was a, an alive citizen before you knocked them um and actually now it's a murder inquiry um and now it's serious and <laughs> a leads come back and um you know, and and of course these lecturers have got a kind of you know kind of show and tell thing going on now because they are putting their kind of um, uh, kind of there's a kind of a medical competition as it were, and they need fresh bodies. You know they can't have like really really ugly dead bodies parts. You know they need fresh bodies. And actually, you know, one of the le the main lecturer, he gets a uh, he gets a, a, a kind of that th he, you know, one of the parts is actually from the murder victims, um, and actually he he even that lecturer doesn't know um, that you know that's piece of evidence. Um, because they didn't tell him um, and
and um, yeah, it's 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 kind of like a it's it's more of a comedy kind of crime film as it were because it's it's obviously it's it's not it's not a joke but I mean this is comedy crime as it were so um oh it it has um Bill Bailey as the uh as the kind of uh 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 as a person who kind of executes um ha who that Bill Bay is the hangman um of the of uh, the bodies so he's so Bill Bailey is the hangman um and he's kind of the narrator too um as well so Bill Bailey is the narrator he does it in a kind of like bouncy funny kind of way you know um which you know something like that of of course you're going to be intrigued but obviously that this film is a, a really good film you know it's it's kind of like oh well you can't win them all you know kind of you know joking around um and so in the end the these two are in jail and actually uh the um one of they they the police needs one of them to hang if they you know they only need one of them to hang um and you know he's not saying anything but then he's a oh i can't live with myself anymore um yes I did it, um, you know, but he obviously doesn't say anything about his involvement, obviously, but he, 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 um, William, he said, um, oh, I did it all for love. Then hang. <laughs> so he, he did, he did it because he was giving money to her because he's, he loves her and he wants her success to be success, her show to be successful, and um, yes, Elsa Elsa Fisher, yeah, they're making a killing. <laughs> um, so she's a, she's kind of a girl. She does dances, but she she she's a kind of a wannabe actress, wanting to make it big and all that. She's apparently she's very talented, the uh, the, the character in question, and um, yeah, the medical professor. Sorry, professors, my bad. Um, so, Doctor Knox. And Dr. Monroe. So Dr. Cox and Monroe are sort of rivals in the medical world, you know, in Edinburgh. So so yeah, it's they they don't get along. Um they want to beat each other with you know what they got and all that. And um they they both have like one of their medical um kind of uh, buildings in one end and the other one in, in the other and um, they have their own kind of you know uh, learning uh, buildings and and all that but Dr. Knox and Dr. Monroe are well are well known in in society of of uh of medicine and um, of course me the body in itself uh, in medical in the medical field was in its inf infancy you know they got they got you know they, they got good kind of um, you know um, they're always kind of um, you know they're, they're coming up with new new um, items that they can use and 
new ways to go about it and you know it's it's just in its infancy you know and people are, are really interested in what the body looks like um so this is the kind of exciting time as it were because there's always something new that they've just discovered and you know all that so edra at that time was kind of buzzing about it as it were um really funny um funny and and disgusting and um humorous 